Hello! In this tutorial on C++, I want to show you the typecasting. Ok, let's start. Uh, write something out to the screen, for example 97, and make a new line after it. Ok, compile the program, and uh, run it. You will know what it will write out, probably. It will write out uh, 97 as we predicted. Ok, and now cast it to a char. So, static, cast, in, uh, in angular bracket you want to give the type uh, to what to cast, in this case it will be a char, and after it inside parentheses you want to give what, to what uh, should it cast. Ok, run the program, and as you can see, it's write out the letter A. That's because it's an integer 97. If we get an ASCII table from somewhere, it is here. Uh, the decimal 97 is the A, letter A. OK, and we cast it to a char. So it means we convert it to a char. Uh, let's see another example. Uh, char C equal 97. This is implicit type conversation. It means the compiler do it automatically for you. So write out the character C. And as you can see we get the same result because the compiler automatically converts this integer value to a char uh, data type. Ok, similar could happen if we write a double d equal actually make an integer variable, so int i equal 42 and make it i. Uh, it the compiler will automatically convert this integer value to a double value. This is a very safe, a safe type conversation because the double can hold anything that an integer can. So, and write out double. Compile, run, and it write out the double value. Okay, uh, in the other hand, if we convert it to an integer, so int uh, m equals d, it will be <coughs> uh, it will make loss. So this will loss lose because the integer cannot hold it. Compile, run, and as you can see, it uh, it lost. Okay, this is called implicit type conversation where mm, you don't have to do anything just the, the compiler will do it for you and this static cast uh, char and m like that it will an explicit type conversation called casting so it will uh, write out a star asterisk uh, character because the 42 is an asterisk character. This is the C++ type typecasting so the static cast and later the dynamic cast which uh, which is uh, work with RTTI runtime type identification but uh, that's for later. There are also other uh, type like const cast uh, I will not show you yet because we I don't uh, told you I've have I've I've not uh, told you about uh, uh, const uh, objects so const cast and there is something called reinterpret class Okay, this is a very dangerous type conversation because it can convert anything actually, even if it is not convertible. So avoid this. 
I also want to show you the C style type conversation although it shouldn't be used but a lot of people use it even now this is a parenthesis a type inside parenthesis a type and then what you want to convert in this case we want to convert n so if we compile and run we get the same result although it uh, it is not so safe because it's not make difference in the safe and the not safe conversation the static cast so which I showed you static cast char or any other that data type even user defined data types you can put there uh, this will throw an exception if it cannot be converted so it cannot be casted and f because of that it is safe it should be used uh, always the reinterpret cast uh, should be used uh, very rare situation so you should av over avoid that oh, by the way it will not uh, throw an exception it will uh, uh, create a compile error so uh, let's see what is the difference try to convert to a char pointer it of course fails because the double cannot be converted to a char pointer so save it and try to compile it so g++ first dot cpp like that and as you can see it gives an error of course uh, try this with the c style so char uh, and an asterisk so it is a char pointer and try to convert a uh, cast with that okay run the program and as you can see it gives a segmentation error of course it is a bad thing you don't want to do that uh, try with the reinterpret cast so rain cast and the char pointer and inside parenthesis what you do what do you want to convert try to compile and run similar error as you can see the static cast is the most safe because it will give an error if it cannot be converted so casted uh, and I think that is what I want to show you today so the too much casting mean that you have something wrong with the program because you shouldn't use uh, too much type conversation type casting in your program it's better to use the correct data type so don't force the program to convert over and over and over again usually a few casting is okay but if there is too much casting it means there is something that you can fix with the program there is something problem with the program okay thank you for watching and have a great day